culture, diverse religion, faiths, dresses, customs, artifacts, flora, fauna and many more. Millions of foreigners come here every year to explore the rich cultural heritage of India. So to preserve world's ancient heritage and to pass it to the next generation, Class 4th B students are going to present today's program. So let's begin. Jainism, Buddhism, Islam, Christianity, Sikhism, etc. India has many different languages like Hindi, Bangla, Tamil, Telugu, etc. Hindi is the most spoken language in India. Hindi is also the mother tongue of India. There are over 52 crore 83 lakh speakers of Hindi in India. There, uh, there are 22 languages in India. English is the second language of India. The land of colors and traditions. India is a country in which every state adds a new color to its canvas. Every state and its religions have different dance styles and folk music with which they express the nature of their community. Let's explore some of the best folk dances that makes India's heritage much more beautiful.
festivals are one of the most famous festivals not only in India but over the world and the prominent festivals are Diwali, Guru Nanak Jayanti, Christmas and many more. So let's celebrate them together. Diwali Diwali is the festival of lights. We also worship Lord Ganesha and Goddess Lakshmi. On this occasion, I want to play the prayer. Subhasta Pere Durga Puja is the main festival of West Bengal. Durga Puja celebrates the victory of the goddess Durga over the divine king Mahasasur. This festival is a symbol of good over evil. It begins on the same day as Navratri, a nine-night festival celebrating the Divine Feminine Durga Puja First day is Maraya Celebrations and worship begin on Shashti the sixth day calendar known as Chingam. Onam normally comes in August to September. We celebrate Onam by decorating our houses by flower rangolis. Many people participate in boat races. We enjoy food in traditional ways. Happy Onam! Bimo is a harvest festival that is On this day, I go to nearby mosque to offer namaz. At the same time, I hug to my relative and sing Eid Mubarak. My mother makes delicious sweet like siwai and distribute our neighbors and relatives. Eid Mubarak! As we all know, India is a vast country and has a rich culture of folk songs. Indian folk songs are interwoven around the legend or traditional tales. Like folk songs from Rajasthan are very inspiring, which speaks about the courage of Rajput kings. 
and one wishes to have the glimpses of Lord Krishna and his Radha and the Gopikas, one should visit Uttar Pradesh. Now let's have a change and enjoy the folk songs of different states like Gujarat, Urisha, Kashmir and Uttarakhand.
Instagram y el Twitter que son Tatis Noticias o Fudisha y Tatis Noticias o Fudisha. Tatis Noticias en Views, Bufi, Fulta y en Tatawal, que es una de las gamusas. En Views de Tatis Noticias o Fudisha. Now, this is what I... This is a loop job, which is stuffed with masala alu. This is matar alu ki sabji and this is chocolate pita. Yeah. This is chaat, which is made with tomato, onion, beetroot, gajar, matar alu and with matar alu ki sabji, pampar, dahi. This is Pokalo, which is here commonly known as rice in water. This is called machi bhaji, and this is and this is chili, nimbu, and piyaz, which is which adds which adds and these dishes commonly eaten in on banana leaf. Dogra thepla and khandvi are the famous food of Gujarat. These are made up of besan. I love to eat Dogra's and Vadodara, Gandhi Nagar and Ahmedabad are the districts of Gujarat that are famous for Dogra and thepla. Famous South Indian dishes are Idli, Dosa, Shambar, Poli, Hor. This is idli, this is chutney, this is sambar. Today I am going to describe North Indian food called Kole Bhature. It is famous food of Punjab. It is made up of maida and kabli chana. I like Kole Bhature. Welcome to Rajasthan. It's famous for its handicrafts like bangles, dolls, etc. It is well known for its leather work, furniture, paintings, hand painted textiles, etc. It, Rajasthan is a glittering and jewel of India.
Unity is diversity. Make our India unique. Unity in diversity is India's strength. There is simplicity in every Indian. There is unity in every corner of India. This is our strength. Learning is a continuous and an inclusive process that cannot be confined within the four walls of the classroom. This virtual class presentation proves that as it provided optimum exposure and opportunities to learn so many things, not only to my students, but to me too. I hope you all have enjoyed the program and will continue to motivate and support us. I am signing off with the beautiful quote by Albert Einstein. Education is not the learning of facts, but the training of the mind to think.